I have one minute. So <laughs> those guys are really mean. Yeah. Watch out. So uh, as, we're getting, as we're getting started here, just the first thing, both of you, real quick, uh, clearly your name and your position on the production for the transcriber to be able to differentiate you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Keith Arbuckles, the lead puppeteer. Steve Bloom, voice of all the critters. Thank you. All the critters? All of them. What? <laughs> I, saw, I saw this movie without seeing any of the original, so I can't <laughs> oh. I'm not comparing it to anything else. I know what Oh, good. Good. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It is. Yeah. Is that oh, what you see? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay, so can you talk about spoilers? Yeah. Sure. Okay. That's yeah, that's fine. I love I know. <laughs> Ted, Ted's like. Yeah, I think, I think it's not my favorite. No, it should be half to be. Everyone should be able to already see it. Oh, really? Oh, by the time they see this, they'll hear it. So, we're going to watch a little show. Okay. Wow. I know, I don't know. Yeah. I'm a creature. How, how many, where was your voices before this? I mean, where was uh, Wolverine. I've been mean, playing Wolverine for about 12 years. Uh, Star Street, Transformers Prime, a lot of stuff in Star Wars and the books. I've been all this from Star Wars Rebels. Um, 30 years of anime and video games. What are the things in most of uh, monsters, I've run been doing creatures since the very beginning of my career. So, uh, I, I do a lot for film and TV, but mostly background things. And, uh, uh, I play a lot of creatures in the Star Wars universe and games, particularly. And in video games, a lot of the Blizzard games, I play creatures. So, is that where you find your inner Christ? That is my inner Christ, yeah. <laughs> so I've been doing these kinds of voices since the very beginning. And I also uh, began my career accidentally at Film and Entertainment and Empire Pictures, working on movies and things like that, but on the other side in production. So this is sort of full circle, sort of wonderful thing to get to, to actually voice these creatures. I got, sorry, did you have a follow up? I'm just going to say, and the same question to you, like, whereabouts your career is. Where did you find yourself at your point where you were sticking your hand up the <laughs> Nobody would hire me. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I started off, I'm, I'm still an actor, uh, but part of what I do on the side is uh, I'm a special effects makeup technician, and I built these guys as well with, uh, when I'm not doing special effects, uh, costumes or sculpture. I found it the easiest way to stay in the biz is to do whatever. So I, I did. Didn't realize it only meant I just needed to know the right people. But it uh, didn't hurt my career. Is this your first Critters movie you worked on? Yes. Do you work with the Chiodo Brothers to update it, or do you go based off their old design? Uh, they 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 run with their original design pretty much stuck with it. Right, right, right. Except for the, um, the three lead critters in the show, uh, they were um, re-sculpted and revamped a little bit um, by Ray Baker of Vancouver. And uh, I think you'll like them because the, we have to see a female for the first time, Bianca, and uh, Hans in this other this other random critter that he was like six critters. No, he was more like 10 years by the time we made that face. <laughs> so, the question that she had asked earlier, the, the director, which like hadn't even popped into my brain before, was how do you direct like stage direction for like a puppet? So, like as a puppeteer, like how do you visualize you're getting a direction to do this? Like, oh, the critter needs to be feeling this way, and you're like, well, it's my hand. So, like, how do you do that? Like, well, it's tricky, especially when you got. Um, like when you're, they're burying you literally underground sometimes, throwing you under a table or whatever. Um, with the animatronic puppets, I was off to the side with the, uh, the controls for the face. And Mike Fields, uh, who's another uh, amazing makeup artist and uh, uh, builder out of uh, Vancouver, uh, he was actually the muscle, so he was underneath giving the body the whole thing. And uh, I was back by the camera and 
pretty much uh, coordinating and directing him and the other critters because they were blind. They couldn't see anything. We were fortunate enough to have monitors, but a lot of the time the monitors like over here, you're on the and whatnot. So it's it was a lot of me. Mike, left, right, chin down, chin down, down, down. Look, right, good. Okay, and okay, you're mean, you're angry, you're angry. Okay, not happy. Now, now, say something. Like, so it was a lot. It was a dance between me and Mike or. Um, one of the other guys from the Creation Studios who was on the local puppeteers, Hans or Adrian. And um, and it was just basically a lot of us yelling at No, no, left, right. No, your other right. Good. Excellent. Good. Okay, roll camera. You weren't rolling yet? Sorry. <laughs> you know, it, it was so much fun. And then Bobby would chime in and say, Keith, anything else? And I'd say, oh, yeah. And then I'd, I'd get a chance to direct them a little bit, too. It became a really nice little cone thing between the, all of us. And of course they would yell and say, I think this would be better! And, it's like, and then they'd do it and it was like, yeah, you're right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like when you're doing that though, like like when you're playing a video game and I get to an extra hard part, like I lean forward and I like move around. Like when you're doing it, like do you see your face doing the same oh, yeah. thing that the crazy are doing? <laughs> oh yeah. Like, I, I actually can't help but uh, the sound guys towards the end of the shoot were like, Keith, can we do it without you saying anything? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd be in there. <laughs> the first time we went on set, and Bobby yelled, roll camera, and I was like, <laughs> Okay, Mike, go, look left, right, go, up, down, right, good, Mike, go, la, la, can't open your mouth. Ah! The whole crew just looked. <laughs> Why did they bring me in? That was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> he just looked at me. And then Bobby said, cut. And everybody's like, wow. <laughs> Welcome to Critters. <laughs> really set the tone. I think yes. everybody had a good time. Yeah, amazing. The 10 tracks that I worked with were amazing. So that was you. That was me. <laughs> the sound guys are so cute too. Keith, can you do it without the guy? <laughs> Did you learn from that? No, I was never on set. No, it's most of the voice work for things like this is done in post production after the fact. So I went into a little studio in Burbank. They got they were shooting in South Africa. I went into a little studio in Burbank for a couple of days and just filled in all the mouth movements. Ruined your voice. Ruined, and your ruined voice. my throat for a week. Yeah. Uh, we done? Okay. I think I've heard your voice in a million video games. Yes, I've done a lot.